Do like. What's up, everybody? Check in, check in. Uh, third live stream of the day. Told you guys in the last video we were going to do three of them today, so this is the third one. Um, gonna wait a second here, as always. In this video, we are going to tell you guys, as promised, about the event that we have coming up. We got a date set. We got everything set up for it. Um, but nevertheless, I want to get into the topic of this video first because I know that's why a lot of you guys are going to go ahead and tune in. So stay tuned to the entire video. Let me let us uh, share with you guys this new business, and then we'll tell you guys about the event. Okay, because I already know you guys ain't trying to hear a whole lot of talking up front. So, uh, Mike, I'm going to have you tell them what business are we going to share with them today. Today, we're going to go over a dryer cleaning event, uh, uh, a dryer cleaning business. Uh, this is a business you can start again. Uh, when we tell the price? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this business you can start for less than two hundred dollars. We just added everything up, and it also will give you uh, ability to earn a hundred thousand dollars. And it's a business that doesn't require a lot of skills, uh, doesn't require a lot of heavy lifting. So women can do this too, um, and it's very easy to do. And it's a uh, business that's very easy to market. Um, I use this business every year about this same time. This is a good time to start this business. Because what's happening, the birds now are starting to mate. And pretty soon they need some place to go lay their eggs uh, because it's springtime. And what they do, they climb, they go into the uh, the opening of your dryer vent a lot of times from outside of your house. And they build a nest. And when they build a nest in there, they actually block the airflow of the dryer, uh, blowing hot air out the uh, and water out of the house when they're drying your clothes. And it causes your dryer to run three and four times longer. You have to do two or three uh, cycles to get one load dry. So now's the time where everybody's now starting to do their spring cleaning, where they're getting the house pressure washed, where they're actually uh, starting to put the landscaping done, where now if you were to go put you some bandit signs out in some community, you would actually get a job um, actually cleaning dryer vents. And we charge $99 to do it. And I actually just bought a, uh, I bought a new setup to put into the truck. So one of my new technicians, because right now we can really start marketing it. All right, cool. I want to go through the parts real quick. Um, I'm going to link all of these in the description below. As always, you guys feel free to source them from wherever you want to source them from. Also, if you have any questions throughout this, um, you guys know to put them in the chat. We will get to you at the end of the video because we might go ahead and answer it for you as we going through whatever it is that we going through throughout this video. Also, I appreciate all 26 people being here in the first two minutes of the video. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up and let me know where you're watching this from. Uh, and if you missed the video earlier, what we do in these videos, we're telling you the essential tools necessary to make this kind of money. If you want all the details, the gaps in the knowledge, what about a business license? What about insurance? That was in the other video. So now we're moving on with the series, you guys. But I do want to put that out there for the benefit of the people that may have uh, not known that. Uh, so first thing, what is this, Mike? Uh, this is the actual dry vent cleaning system. If you look at it, and uh, what it come with? It'll come with actually, um, actually yeah, it'll come with one set of, uh, of rods. It only comes with one set. It'll come with a coupler that you need to use to connect to the uh, back of the dryer hose. And it also will come with what we call a dryer head right here. This is the dryer head, the actual device. As you can see, ours get used a lot. The device that actually goes inside your dryer duct and actually uh, do the cleaning. And um, the reason why I tell you to buy this kit, because it also comes with an instruction manual. They used to have a DVD in here. I don't know if this one have it now. They probably just tell you to go to, the, uh, go to YouTube and look at it. But it's very easy to, uh, to do. Uh, if you look at, uh, if you get the instruction manual and actually go on YouTube, they get uh, a lot of demonstration. I'm going to give you a slight demonstration in a minute of how easy it is. Uh, so you need this. I say get two of these because they're only going to come with one. Uh, when you buy, also buy two extra one of these. They have these uh, hanging right beside the kit. You can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, because that's only 12 feet. Uh, each one of these are 12 feet. Uh, some of the new houses, they put the dryer upstairs, and the dryer vent goes up and then goes across to the other side of the house. So you're going to need at least three of these to uh, get to the other side of the house to go through the whole vent. So 12 feet is not going to be enough. So that's why I say get at least three of these. All right. And the next thing you're going to need is a basic drill. Just a basic drill. Um, a lot of people have that at their, uh, have that at home. If not, uh, we just looked it up. Was it twenty some dollars? Yep, twenty some dollars. You can buy that, and it'll be in the link below. Yeah, you guys. So again, uh, like he said, you can source these from wherever you want to. But for your convenience, I'll link 
uh, stuff below. If you just want to order it from Amazon and have it come to your house if you don't already have it. Okay. Uh, last thing you need is an actual shop vac. Um, you want to get a shop vac that has uh, the two inch uh, holes on it. And the reason you want that because there's so much lint going to be coming in that uh, if you have the smaller holes, it's going to get clogged. With the two inch holes, you can pull all the lint in. And you want to um, you want to have the shop vac and make sure you put a bag inside of it. It comes with a bag because there's going to be a lot of lint and you don't want it blowing lint throughout the people's houses. And for some reason, I've noticed. Uh, people kind of like some people like to blow their nose and look at the tissue. People like to see what uh, what got pulled up the dryer vent. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you uh, when you put a new bag in, and when you get done, it'll look like a pillowcase. It'll be real big. So then they feel like, oh wow, I, I should have. I'm glad I got it done. I had a lot of stuff in there. So uh, that's why I say uh, get this right here. I like to get the smaller one because the smaller one, I know it's gonna fill that bag up and it's gonna make it real puffed up. So when I take it out and show it to them, they're gonna be really happy. If you get the bigger one. Uh, you could do maybe three or four uh, dryers with it, with it, but uh, because they're going to look at it, they're going to say, well, I think you didn't get much out. Sometimes they might uh, ask you, you know, about uh, what was the need to do it. But if you do this one, it, it's going to pop up as big as a pillow, and they'll, they'll see the need for why they had to do it. Cool, cool. And, Mike, uh, before we actually do the demonstration, uh, for the people that may not even uh, have ever had this done, why is it important to do this? Because I know some people that probably say, I never had this done. And I have been in my house for X amount of years. <laughs> for this reason right here, um, because it causes fires, causes uh, house fires. One of, uh, one of the number one causes of it is uh, drive overheating. And that's one of the reasons this is a good business, too, because that's a, that's a good marketing tool. Because what happens, uh, every time there's a fire within your community, uh, the, that's actually becomes public knowledge. Just like if there's a break-in and somebody reported and the police have to go. Uh, they keep a record of that um, in, in your town halls and at your fire departments. So what you can do, uh, you can go to any fire department and just ask them, can you get the uh, get the, the records of the fires they had the, the, the previous week or during that week? And they'll give you a list of all the houses they had to report to for a fire. And that's a good place you go market. So wherever they had a fire at, you go to that, uh, go to that street and just put out your flyers at all those houses because they just saw some, one of their neighbor's houses burn down. Now you got an emotional vibe with somebody saying, hey, we got to make sure our house don't burn down. So it's easy then to market and get uh, get more uh, get more business. Also, uh, around uh, I think it's October, they have a uh, fire prevention month. Uh, that's another good time to actually market your business because all the schools, the television shows, the news, they have a whole month of nothing but fire prevention. And you can actually then uh, 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 piggyback on that. Start putting out flyers saying, hey, uh, your bandit sign say, hey, we do driveway cleaning. Uh, like I said, I charge $99, and this takes you about 30 minutes to do it. All right, you guys. So, again, through the links that, that we're going to have in the description below, all of this together came out to like $192 brand off of Amazon. But, again, feel free to source it from wherever. Overall, you should still spend no more than $200 to start this business. And do you think that uh, this is a business that you will have consistent work uh, in the summer months to the point where you can make six figures because this is not something that you think people will want to do in the winter time, is it? Um, yeah, it's something you you do you can do year round. Okay. And what I uh, what I normally uh, what I normally do, especially with uh, my customers, uh, once you do it, you just put them on a regular schedule. You just say, hey, uh, we can put you on a schedule. Come back. Uh, some people want to do it six months when they see everything that's in there. They say come back in six months or they come back next year. So once you go there, you want to have some type of um, online scheduler, either through Google, Matt, uh, I think Google Scheduler. Yep. So do something where you can actually schedule them their next, uh, their, their, your return visit. Kind of like we go to the dentist's office before you leave, they, they they schedule you for your next visit. You want to do the same thing. And um, like I said, if you if you just find out where the fires was at, you can actually uh, just you get enough business there. And then after one or two years, you can just use your uh, use your repeat customers. Where you don't you don't even have to market anymore. Like now, because I've been doing it so long, I got so many customers. All I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna send an email blast out to all my customers, mm -hmm. and they see that email blast, they know, oh, it's time for me to get my driving clean, uh, clean. So they just start scheduling driving cleans. Um, okay. I, I don't have to put bandit signs out to market it now. I just send an email blast out. Okay, cool, cool. Are we ready to start a demonstration? Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna take the computer with me this time, you guys. For those that. <laughs> He, he got the message from y'all guys. What do you complain? <laughs> okay. So what you're going to do, uh, this right here, it's not quite like it'll be at your house, but I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of what it will be. So when you come into the house, you're going to see the dryer um, against the wall. You're going to pull it out. When you pull it out, 
right here is the dryer vent. You're gonna, uh, if they can see it. Okay, there you go. You just wanna disconnect the dryer vent. Now you're gonna have this part right here. This is your actual coupler. Uh, they got a little cap right here on your uh, coupler. We're gonna pop this cap right here off. And then you're gonna have your, you're gonna have your rod that you're gonna have the, the head on. This right here is the dryer vent head, the brush head. And all you do, you stick that into this hole, as you can see. You just stick that into this hole. Stick it in there. Like this. Don't just disconnect it from the dryer. Do not disconnect it from the wall. Leave it connected to the wall. But what's going to happen, this right here is going to snake through your uh, through your dryer vent. What you want to do then, you're going to take your vacuum cleaner hose. Connect it right here. This right here is going to be the part that actually uh, sucks the lint and stuff back and goes into your dryer, uh, your dryer right there. All right. I don't think I should have to tell you this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, you want to plug your dryer up. I mean, your vacuum cleaner up. Plug your dryer, uh, vacuum cleaner up. Can you see? Yeah. Any questions you guys got, go ahead and start putting it in the chat. And just pretend the other end is connected to the wall of the house. Right. Uh, just for the sake of this demonstration. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn my vacuum on. They might get a little noisy. But right, before I do that, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, what you do, you plug your drill in, and you connect your drill right here. Stay right there for a second, Mike. Okay. You take your drill, put it in here, and just screw it down here. And you want to always go forward. Never go reverse. Go forward. Even when you're pulling it back, keep it going forward. Never go in reverse. Because you go reverse, you're going to spin the head off. And they'll tell you that in the instruction manual. All right? And what you do, uh, as uh, I'm going to turn this drill on, and it's going to start to go through that hole. And as it get, goes up, what you're going to do, when it gets, when it get, when the, this piece right here gets up there, all you do is just screw the next one into it, like this. You screw the next one in. Oh, like a chain. It's like a chain. chain. Yeah. It's like a chain. And it'll go through your whole vent system, go throughout the whole house and clean your whole vent. Once you hit the outside, you're going to hit the outside cap. It's not going to be able to go any further. You'll be able to tell. You can't push it any further. Then you just keep the vacuum on, and you just start to pull it out and disconnect it. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to plug it up and just show you how to, how to snake through. Any anything you guys having trouble seeing, let me know. Again, I'm doing this on a laptop, not a traditional camera. So uh, all And that's all it is to it. As you can see, it's nothing hard to do at all. Very simple. Uh, you can make you a hundred dollars doing that all day. Uh, like I said, it takes you about thirty minutes to do it. With that thirty minutes, you can you can do. We can do seven of those, eight of those a day uh, for uh, nine hundred for ninety nine dollars. So, and uh, and that's what that's an easy money maker. I call that uh, when I want to print money. If I got some, I got a problem where I need some money. I just said this is one of the uh, coupons and stuff I sent out to my mailing list, and I know instantly I'm gonna get people to start signing up to go clean dryer vents. Cool, cool. Any questions you guys have about that business? 
go ahead and start putting it in the chat. We will get to that. But now I want to talk a little bit um, about the event. Uh, again, it's a, an appliance repair business. I'm going to let Mike uh, take the lead on talking about that as much, and I'll just fill in the blanks. Okay. Uh, everybody been asking. For, uh, they want to come out and learn this hands-on. So uh, I told y'all once we got, I got a thousand subscribers, I'll put together a class. Well, we got a class now. That class is going to be uh, April the 13th. Yep. April the 13th, 14th. 14th. It's going to be a two day class. That's going to be a Saturday and a Sunday. Um, we're going to have it set up on my website. If you go to my website, it's www.call, like you'll make a phone call. C A L L Sneed, S N E E D dot com. Call Sneed dot com. JT is putting it in the uh, chat chat board now if you go there click on uh schedule service and you'll see uh it's called an appliance boot camp if you uh click on that you can schedule it and uh we're charging we're gonna have it there and uh the price is gonna be a simple five hundred dollars you come there uh from seven in the morning to seven that afternoon on saturday uh we're gonna go over um washers and dryers microwaves ranges dishwashers cell phones um, Androids and iPhones. Uh, Androids and iPhones. Android and iPhone. uh, on uh, Sunday, we're going to do refrigerators, and then we're going to give you a business class. I'm going to tell you how to market your uh, business and how to go get contracts, who's the good companies to get contracts from. And um, also, I'll tell, you, uh, I, I'll tell you also how to do continual education, because this right here is not something you're going to learn one time and you, uh, you're done, because the appliances are always changing. I'm going to tell you the websites you need to go to that you can trust that give you good information. All right, cool, you guys. And for those of you, because I know a lot of people reached out and said, uh, what if I can't make it to the Carolinas? Uh, there will be a course. Also, I'll put all of that information in the description of this video below for you guys that want to go ahead and pre-order the course. So if you can make it in, you can go to his website, which is in the chat. It'll also be in the description below. And for those of you that can't make it to the Carolinas or don't want to come to the Carolinas, you can still be able to watch that course. Um, through the link that'll be in the description below. So uh, also, I want to touch on um, the value before we get into the chat, just uh, because I believe a lot of people may not understand um, what exactly uh, this is or take it for granted. So the alternative to uh, coming to this two-day event, Saturday and Sunday event for $500 is what? Uh, you could go to some other trade schools. It costs you, the cheapest one I know is uh, $4,200. Uh, that'll be for three weeks, um, but that's going to be over in Cleveland, Ohio, so you still have to get over there. Um, but uh, like I said, coming here for $500, it can be life, uh, it, it will be life changing. Uh, I was just talking to some of my past employees who, uh, matter of fact, I was here, I think maybe three people yeah. call, <laughs> three people call my past employees because uh, they, one of them just calls, hey man, I, I need more appliances. He, he flips appliances. And he, he's, he's ran out because it's tax season. He just called, hey, say, tell the guy uh, that I get my appliances from, hey, I buy everything you got right now, cash. He, he just called while we, uh, when we were ready to set this up. Uh, my other guy, he used to work with me. He started with me about 15 years ago. Uh, he, he has his own business. Not only does he have his own business, but his son also has an appliance repair business. So both of them, do. <laughs> but he, he, has, he got his business first. Then his son uh, worked with him, and then his son got his own business. And we were talking about his business and his son business. The, uh, the other guy that worked with me, he, he, I went to his house one time, and uh, he, I was doing a repair at his house, and he was an engineer. And uh, uh, I didn't know at the time that he had just got laid off. But uh, same thing, he, he was kind of curious about what I was doing. And uh, I told him, as a matter of fact, um, uh, I was actually talking to his son. He had a younger son. That he thought maybe be I thought maybe be interested in doing what I was doing. I was saying I was always looking for somebody, and so he said okay. He was gonna give the information to his son. I was telling him hey, I'll give him the information. Well, anyway, he went. Um, I didn't know, but he went and looked up the information about appliance repair and done his research. And he said, man, that's something I want to do. So he called me that night. I thought he was calling for his son. He called me and said, hey, man, I want to do it. I didn't tell you I just got laid off. <laughs> I was like, man, I didn't know that. He said, yeah, I, I just got laid off. Uh, and uh, I looked at it. I, I want to do it for myself. And he worked with me. He came and worked with me for uh, for maybe a month. He worked with me a month, picked it up, and uh, he got his own business. His son actually worked for him for a while. I think his son might be still working for him. Uh, so uh, I, I'm gonna have people actually come on to actually work for me. And I just talked to them. They said they'd be glad to do testimonials to tell you how actually coming out here and running appliance repair has actually changed their lives. 
and uh, you, they, they'll be an open book where you'll be able to talk to them also. Cool, cool. And I wanted him to do that because I want you to understand that this actual course is not for everybody. Uh, we make plenty of free content out here on YouTube. I'm at 400 videos between Facebook and YouTube. He has a lot of content out there available too. So what this course is about and who is for rather is for people that are serious. You want to start your appliance repair business. You want to start your cell phone repair business and you ready to take the steps necessary now. So the alternative is, like he said, you can go to Ohio for three weeks, spend four grand, or you can go to some college, spend thousands of dollars and stay there for years. Or you could come out here for a weekend, learn the game and then go out and start the business. So the choice is completely up to you guys. And I just want to clarify that um, up front to let you guys know that uh, I know a lot of people want this information. We got a ton of free content, but um, we want to get people out there that's ready and willing to start making real money with their businesses right now out uh, to this event. And this is just the first event. This is going to be one of the smaller events. Um, I do hope that we do more and more events, maybe even go uh, to different areas right. if, if that's ever a possibility. So um, just want you guys to understand that. So uh, now any questions you guys got, appreciate all 76 people being in the chat. Uh, hit that thumbs up button and any questions you got, we'll run through them real quick. Pastor Jack, what's up? What's up? What's the date? April 13th. April 13th and 14th. That's a Saturday and Sunday. Um, I also have some information about the hotel rooms uh, and things of that nature, too. Um, I can put it in the description uh, as well as you could DM me. So, again, everything you need to know will be in the description of this video. Or uh, you could just DM me on Instagram. I'm JT Hustles. Uh, Stockton, California in the building. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Educate the people, my guys. We're trying to. Trying to. Raleigh in the building. Charlotte in the building. Jackson, Mississippi, what's up, Mike, JT, North Carolina in the house. Oh, phone, phone man. man, what's up, phone man? <laughs> hey, phone man. Yeah, Pastor Jack here again. Tim Moss, Texas in the building. Let me run through. Shout out to everybody here, wherever you are. Uh, We're going to try to run down any questions you guys got. Guy came to my house last year to clean my vents. $110 and done in 25 That's somebody right there that says that, you know. You had it done. Yeah, this happens all the time. London, UK in the building. Shout out to you. Wow. Yeah. Oh, one thing I forgot. It's in Smithfield, North Carolina. I see somebody asking where. It's going to be in Smithfield, North Carolina. And JT will put the uh, address and stuff in the actual description. Yep. Yeah. All the details will be there. And we're going to talk about this uh, in multiple videos, yeah. you guys. Just wanted to announce it in this video. But uh, trust me, you guys will see it so much. You'll know everything well in advance before the date. Um, but wanted to bring it to you guys early as soon as we could. Uh, what up all the way from Cincinnati, Ohio? Can we use the toolkit to fix TV? Where will we find TV panel replacement at? Um, what, what toolkit you talking about? Uh yeah, I think you might be talking about that cell phone toolkit. Yeah, uh, if you could if we could look around, uh maybe not here, but if I take you to the other side, you can see we got a whole wall full of TVs that we're repairing. And I got parts that just came in that gotta get done. And that's what we use. We use the TV, uh, we use that cell phone toolkit to repair TVs and uh like I said, you get the parts right off of Amazon and cool. you eat uh, eBay. Cool, cool. Oh, chat's moving. Hold on, let me find out where it was. <laughs> Columbia, South Carolina in the building. Uh, how do you hook up the bag in the vacuum? Okay, the bag in the vacuum. Yeah, Let's, can we show them real quick? Yeah. All right. Uh, if, if you have a shop bag, it's uh, right here, it's just real easy. Right here, this is this is the bag. And when you clean out a dryer vent, it's gonna it's gonna look like a pillowcase when you get done. So uh, you want something that's gonna show people a lot of stuff is getting pulled out of it. So that's why I like to use this smaller one. Cool. Mm -hmm. Seems it would be smart to carry some extra of those thin dryer vent hose things in case it accidentally tears while working. Uh, yeah, you want to keep those on, on your truck, and that's an upsell. A lot of times uh, we, uh, we'll look at it, and especially if they got the vinyl ones, we'll tell them we can put the, uh, the little wrap ones in, but that's an upsell hose. Cool, cool. Seem like easy work, and it's not that hard. What kind of vacuum is it? Yep. 
Yeah, it's, 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 just, it's, it's easy work. It's not hard at all. The vacuum will be in the actual uh, description. Yeah, the Craftsman Shop Vac. Link to it is in the description uh, of this video. <laughs> That's a money scam. Yeah. What, uh, what, let's address that. What, what's the money scam? The actual uh, dry vent cleaner? Uh, milkman trucker? Yeah, milkman trucker. What, what's the money scam? Yeah, uh, he'll, yeah, if he responds back, we'll, we okay. can talk about it. Moving on. What is his YouTube page? Save, invest, repeat on yeah. YouTube. Save, invest, repeat on YouTube is yeah. Mike's page. What was that vacuum cleaner? Was that in the budget of the two hundred dollars? Yes. Yes. Yes, that was. Shop vac. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of people be networking in the chat sometimes, so I'm yeah. just fast forwarding past that. Shout out to everybody. I see your city there. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Any questions about uh, what we're talking about, put it in there. We're going to try to get to all the questions. How soon do people start after the classes? Uh, that's up to you, uh, your confidence level. If, you, uh, if you're confident enough to go out and repair somebody's uh, appliance, you can, you can start the next day. I suggest that you maybe uh, start off with your own appliances and your uh, family and friends and maybe even going on Craigslist to the free section and grabbing some of those free appliances and fixing those and flipping them before going out. But uh, yeah, it all depends on your skill level. Yep. And I'm giving away uh, my personal uh, washer and dryer at this event. Um, I, I put it in the video, uh, but for those of you that did not see that video, um, my washer and dryer, we're going to fix it. It's going to have no problems. And when I'm going to give it away uh, to somebody at the event, we might give the whole set to one person. We might give the washer to one person to dry to another person. And that's for you. Not saying you got to take it home and use it, but I don't care if you take it home and use it. You give it away, or if you want to put it on your website, put it on Craigslist, and you can flip that and get your money back or get some of your money back already to start your business off on the on the right foot. So the people that come out to the event, uh, my personal stuff will be here. And since you are starting an appliance repair business, I know lots of people, like Mike said, the guy that called uh, before we started this, um, you can fix appliances and also resell some appliances. So I'm going to just donate that. Uh, to one or two people, and we'll work uh, that out offline to somebody that comes to the event. Um, would you guys come to Atlanta, Georgia, and teach this? Yeah, I have no problem going anywhere to teach it. The whole problem is, well, I'm gonna let Mike tell him. Yeah. Like, why, why can't we just pick up and go to every city? To uh, teach because it? we actually gotta have a, a lab, as, as I call it. We gotta have a shop lab where we're gonna have to hook up our washers and dryers, and we're gonna have to have power to hook up a dryer and range the 240 volts. So that route kind of hinders us to be able to just go anywhere and teach this class because uh, I want to give you actual working appliances so you can actually see them and uh, how they'll be when you get to the customer house. Now, if we get to the point where we're doing enough classes, we might could put together a travel uh, a travel lab, maybe take a trailer or something and outfit one where we can uh, take it different places. But right now I want to do it here and actually uh, uh, where I got everything. I got two. I got all the tools everybody needs. So nobody has to be bringing tools or anything. And I got everything we need set up here. Yeah. If you show up, you guys, everything will be provided. Mm -hmm. um, you will have notebooks if you want to take notes. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I mean? And ask all the questions you want. Yeah. And for those that can't make it, again, uh, that course will be out after the event uh, for you guys to check out regardless of where you are. And uh, that's the same answer to the person. I see somebody ask, uh, will we do it in Chicago? Again, um, right now we're just going to start here because, like you said, we need an area where we can hook up a washer and dryer and the water lines and all of that good stuff um, as well. Moving on, let me see what else we got you here. In the class description of what's going on, or? You, you want to run through the syllabus again? Oh, that's fine. Right. Let me uh, pull it up. All right. While he pulling that up, I'll run through okay. a couple more. Shout out Baton Rouge, Texas, Miami, Florida. CJ People says Orlando, Florida. Brother, I really appreciate it. If I don't make it there, I would love to schedule an appointment to come there and pay to get that going. No problem. We can definitely make that uh, happen. Was your vacuum cleaner part of the budget? Yes. Yes. When we say two hundred dollars, everything, everything you saw was like a hundred and ninety-two dollars. Right. Like, yeah. So everything, the vacuum cleaner, and all the supplies that he needed to to do that job is under two hundred dollars. And we're going to send you. Well, I'm going to put the links in the description below if you want to get them from Amazon. If you don't, you want to go to Walmart, Target, Home Depot. Now, I don't know how much it'll cost. If you go somewhere else and get it, but the stuff that I'm going to link is the stuff that he's using that's under two hundred dollars, and that's what you need to do this business. Yeah, and uh, only thing, like I say, if if you want to start this business, 
uh, this weekend. Uh, I, I know here in North Carolina, the weather's changing. People are starting to, uh, uh, what we call it, start to do their spring cleaning. Just go get you some bandit signs, and uh, you can just get the ones with the marker and just get you a jumbo uh, marker and just write them on there. Dry vent cleaning spring special, $99. Put your phone number, and you want to put them at all the different stop signs. And that's the other thing, too. Remember, I told you got market to people who's going to want this. Uh, if you live in some place in a low income area that uh, they do uh, they don't value you doing maintenance and stuff to their houses, no, you're not going to get anybody who's going to uh, going to get you to come do their driving. Uh, like I said, in North Carolina um, and Clayton and uh, in this area, I try to stay some uh, houses developments that two hundred fifty thousand and up. Uh, if I go there, I know those people are going to pay for it, and uh, you 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 have enough work you know for the next couple of months. Cool, cool. H Town in the building, Wilmington in the building. I see y'all. See everybody, Georgia. Love your info, JT man. Many thanks to your guests. Yep. Y'all make sure y'all follow Mike Sneed, Save Invest Repeat on YouTube. Um, as well. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Hit that like button. Any questions you have, that's just what we're running through. Uh, for the benefit of those that may have just been tuning in. You know, walk in the building. Yeah, it should be way more thumbs up. Yeah, y'all hit that like button for me. Just to share something with you guys, I've been selling body oils for a while, all right? Um, yeah, I've never done anything with body oils. Uh, I'm going to let you uh, address that one. Okay. Uh, after the class, can I stay in town uh, a few days and work with you? Uh, <laughs> if you want to stay at work, <laughs> uh, you can work all you want. Yeah, that's no problem. I have no problem doing that. Uh, uh, we got plenty of work to do. If you want to stay here and work in the shop and stuff, uh, I have no problem at all. Cool, cool. Catonsville, Maryland in the house. Thanks for tuning in to all the videos. Everybody that tuned into all the videos, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Let me know. If you saw all three videos today, man, put the flame emoji in the chat just so I know how many people actually watched all of these videos. Hit the like button, everybody. Money scam, only scam is his job. That is <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> that you clean the dryer like that? Yeah, that's what okay. Milkman Trucker said it's a money scam. That you clean the dryer like that? Oh, okay. That that wasn't a, a, that wasn't a, 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 like a, a throw. That was like a, 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 a I guess he was trying to give us a heads up. That was good. Or, yeah. or, or, I don't know. Was that a good? Was that a good thing or bad thing? I I can't tell if it was good or bad. <laughs> yeah. Can this be done part time? Flipping appliances. Dwayne uh, wants that. Ask that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can flip appliances part time. Uh, all you do is just uh, just uh, buy them, uh, fix them up, and Put them on Craigslist or uh, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, yeah, they, they just come with you at home and buy them. Yeah, it can be done part time. Yeah, man. See, people say uh, ATM fees are a scam, taxes are a scam. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys. And again, this is not for everybody, man. If you don't want to do this business, don't do this business. Like, we're going to keep the series going. Hopefully, this series or something else on this channel, you will feel comfortable doing. But hey, it's a legitimate business. But if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it ain't for everybody. Yeah, it's not. It's, uh, this is just like people going to start getting their house pressure washed. Is that a scam? Now, nah, this this part of doing regular maintenance to your house. This this is a, something that you have to have done to your house. It's regular maintenance. It's not something you tell somebody that needs to be done that, that, that's, not, that's not supposed to be done. This is part of doing make, a regular maintenance to your house. Cool, cool. Um, I saw I see somebody asking about the courier. The the video before this, we, we just did a courier video, man. So yeah, we, we just talk about multiple streams of income on this channel. So yeah, you, you missed the courier video, I think. Um, but yeah, you go check that out when you got time. I think this one is is dope. Do you know any women that do this type of business, such as a, the appliance business, Georgia in the house? Oh, good lord. Uh yeah, this this business is actually uh, it, it's really geared towards a woman because, as you know, it's not real. The appliances are not heavy, um, and they're they're gonna be indoors. It's not like you're doing plumbing or uh, heating and air or electrical work where you're crawling up under the house or crawling up in the attic and you're toting heavy uh, heavy pieces of equipment. Um, and also with appliance repair, uh, a lot of times when you go to the customer houses, there's gonna be women there because the men are gonna be working. And they would love to see a woman showing up, actually show, uh, doing their appliance repair, because they feel more comfortable having a woman there than having a strange man showing up to the door with nobody there to fix their appliances. Cool, cool. Um, I see a question about cell phone screen repair. Uh, Mike has that video out on his channel right now. If you guys want to go and learn how to fix uh, 
crack screen is right there. And I also have a video talking about the business on this channel. But uh, if you guys want to know how to take a screen on and off, that video is already out. Yeah. And come to the class. We're going we're gonna to do cell phone too. Yeah. April 13th and the 14th, you guys. Again, uh, his website is somewhere in the chat now, but you can go to callsneed.com. And once they get there, what do they need to click on, Mike? Uh, click on uh, schedule service, and then it'll pop up appliance boot camp. Go ahead and register. Once you register, um, within uh, I think within a couple of maybe 30, 40 minutes, you should get an uh, 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 invoice for you to pay. Um, we, only, we only can allow 10 people. We only got room for 10 people. So once you pay the first 10 people, after that, uh, we're going to have to cut it loose, cut it off. But the first 10 people that pay, you'll get a receipt saying that you paid and that will hold your check. Cool, cool, yep. Yeah. And if you can't make it, you guys, the course will be out. But the course is going to come out after the event, of course, because uh, we're going to record that. But the link to that will be below as well for you guys to pre-order. Uh, Jeff asks, I don't know how to oh, – I don't know. I do the flame emoji, but I caught all three videos. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate everybody that caught all three videos. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Let me know if you caught all three videos today. Uh, Freddie Heard Jr., can I combine the appliance repair and vent cleaning business together? Uh, that's what I'll do. Yeah, you, you definitely want to do that. Every time you go to repair somebody's dryer, you want to actually try to sell the dryer vent cleaning system to them. So uh, you already there. You, you take the dryer apart. When you take the dryer apart, you're going to see all this lint. And you bring them back there and you show them, say, hey, look, you got all this lint right here in your dryer. You need to have, when's the last time you had your dryer vent clean? And uh, they'll say, uh, I haven't had it clean. Then you tell them, say, hey, I have a special. We come out and we clean your dryer vent for $99. And you tell them everything you do. You say, I'm going to bring my vacuum out. I got a device that I'm going to put inside your uh, your dryer, uh, dryer duct. And it's going to go throughout your whole dryer system. Not going to suck all the lint out. And um, most of the time you already did, they'll tell you, go ahead uh, and, and clean it. Cool, cool, you guys. Yeah. Mike combines all these businesses, you guys. Yeah. All of the ones that we're going to be talking about, he combines all of them. Yeah, see, yeah. That's, the, that's the thing. Uh, when I'm telling you this, uh, I'm telling you, I, I'm doing it. Like I said, this kit right here that we are showing you, the uh, reason I ain't open it, I got a new technician, and it's going on his truck. He's going on his truck tomorrow morning. And uh, this is the time of year where I get ready to send my email blast out. And I send my email blast out. We're going to be cleaning dryer vents for the next couple of weeks. So this is something I do. And I, I'm doing it right now. Cool, cool. Are all the videos on both channels? No. If you want to know how to fix, uh, how to take a screen off and put it back on, uh, we just put that out on Mike's channel. So go show Mike's channel some love, subscribe, and then uh, uh, most of the other content is here. Um, we got plenty of content, yeah. though, on, on both channels. Um, phone man, appreciate you checking out all the videos. Great info, guys. Thanks from Texas. Shout out to Texas. Will you cover the electronics of washers and dryers? Can we run through the syllabus yeah, one I more time? Okay. All, All right. right. Uh, here go the syllabus. Uh, this is for the first day. On Saturday, we'll get started at 7 a.m. Um, we're going to start off with basic electricity. You're going to learn how to operate a voltmeter, learn how to test motors, switches, thermostats, and elements. You're going to learn how to read an appliance wiring diagram. Um, then we're going to go into the washers and dryers. You're going to learn the theory behind the washers and dryers. Um, and then after that, we're going to go into the, uh, go into our lab, I call it, and we're going to have two hours of nothing but hands-on on washers and dryers. Uh, we're going to have a, a top load washer and dryer, and we'll have a front load washer and dryer, and we're going to take them all the way apart, completely apart, and put them all the way back together. All right. Then after that, we're going to, uh, we're going to have lunch, and then we'll come back from lunch that day. We're going to go over ranges. Uh, microwaves and dishwashers, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go over the theory behind them, and then we're gonna come into our lab for two hours. Well, for three hours for that, because we got three appliances for three hours. We're gonna take a range completely apart, test all the components, put it back together. A microwave, same thing, and a dishwasher. And then the last thing that afternoon from five to seven, we're gonna go over cell phones. We're gonna go over the iPhone and the Android. We're gonna learn how to disassemble them, reassemble them. And we're going to learn how to do a factory reset. So if you get one that you need to have clean and wiped out, uh, we'll show you how to do that. And that's everything, that's everything for itself. So Saturday, how long that day is? From 7 a.m.? 7, 7, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Yeah, from 7 to 7, you're going to go through everything. What about Sunday? On Sunday, uh, we're going to start again at 7 o'clock. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to do basic refrigeration theory. We're going to learn uh, how Freon works, uh, how a refrigerator works. Uh, then from uh, when I go into the lab for two hours, we're going to take a refrigerator completely apart and put it uh, put it back together. Um, then that afternoon, 
we're going to do uh, from 10 to 12, we're going to have a business class. And on a business class, I'm going to teach you how to market your, uh, your business to customers, uh, how to go out and find contracts, what's the good contracts to get, the ones to stay away from. And then I'll tell you how to go out and do your continuing education. Because this right here, like I said, uh, is, uh, technology is involved here. So technology is always changing. But that means that what you learn here is not going to be probably won't be relevant <laughs> in about 10, 15 years. It's going to be old. Uh, it's going to be old. So what you got to do, you got to learn how to go out there and actually find the, the right information and uh, be able to apply and keep keep your education going. So then we're going to work on the continued education part. Cool, cool. So, Brian, the answer to your question is yes. We're going to cover the electronics of washers and dryers, plus so much more uh, for those individuals that come and check out this uh, class. Uh, Pastor Jack says, I'm going to start sharing and liking all your videos. So I put it on Facebook, like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate that. Everybody that, that does that, uh, I have no way of knowing who does it when it does happen. So I just want to thank everybody. If you ever shared my content, uh, on your other social media, told anybody about me, man, I appreciate y'all, man. It really means a lot. Phone, man. Trust me, JT and Mike are here to help. No scam. Here's someone mowing your yard could be a scam. Yeah. 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 Phone man actually came and, and did yeah, a video yeah. with Mike. Yeah. Phone man. He, he could, he could tell cause he, he, he showed up. Uh, I didn't know he was coming. I thought he was coming to, uh, another time, but he showed up and he can, he can, he can attest to it. He showed up. Everything we say is here. And we, mm -hmm. I actually uh, stopped exactly what we're doing. And hey, we're gonna show you how to how to take a phone apart, put it back together. We got yeah. it right then and there. Talk and, phone man, how to fix phone. Yeah, and that that's another thing too. Uh, a lot of times, I, I, sometimes JT and I we talk about uh, like the guy says a scam. Sometimes uh, he be like he just want to ignore the people and let it go. I say let him say that because sometimes let let the uh, let the crowd get him because because a lot of times I, I've noticed uh, <laughs> like if you try to go out and say something bad about Chick Fil A. Uh, Chick Fil A don't have to come out and after you. The people who who uh, who go to Chick Fil A, they come after you bad and tell you, "Hey, Chick Fil A is good. Their service good. You just had a bad time." So same thing here. The stuff that I'm saying is stuff that um I that I do every day. And you have people in the comments that say, "Hey, Millman Truck, will put your number in the chat. I will call you right now." <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, what we call uh, uh somebody in the chat before I even told the price, they said they paid 110 dollars to have this thing done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and yeah, and we're not trying to, you know, no disrespect yeah. to Milkman and then we're just talking in general. Yeah. But yeah, Milkman, if you want if you want us to call you, put your number in the chat. Yeah, I'll call you right now while, while we on the live. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Give him a call. You want to hide his number so nobody else won't be calling. I don't know about calling him harassing him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you hold on. It? No, no, no. Let me get okay. it first. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I didn't believe in this stuff, uh, I'll check, check that for me. Make sure that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right, we're going we're gonna to hide it so nobody okay. can know. Uh, we're calling you now, Milkman. Yeah. yeah, if I didn't believe in this stuff, I wouldn't be what you call. I wouldn't be, uh, I, I wouldn't be paying kids to learn it. And I'm looking on the internet, and Philadelphia is another guy doing the same thing. He don't start paying kids to learn skill tree. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I didn't think it was a, a good idea, I, I definitely wouldn't pay nobody to go here. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing, milk man? What's up? Oh, what's up, man? What's up? Not much. Hey, you, what hey. Was, can you clarify what was a scam? No, man. I was gonna tell you uh, what the guy was doing that on the drive, man. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what was a scam. Why? You know, what? What? How you were doing it? What do you mean? Tell uh, go further. I don't understand. Can everybody in the chat hear? No, what had he had to be seen, and you know, you did it real fast, and you done. You know, you you done. <laughs> I mean, what are you doing? I mean, it's a scam because he did it fast, or like what part was a scam? It was a scam because he did it so I mean, fast. Yeah, like he did it real fast. Oh, you you know that we're assimilating, right, milkman? This is not how you're actually doing it in somebody's house. We actually in a shop, so I don't have a dry vent going completely outside of the shop like we would in somebody's house. And I actually, we said it several times, it would take you about 30 minutes in somebody's house to do it. It wouldn't be that fast. It was actually simulating. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, so do you understand when I said we're simulating? 
that uh, we weren't, it, it's not, it, and that it takes about 30 minutes in somebody's house to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I heard. Do you still think that's a scam? I, I mean, you entitled to your opinion, bro. Yeah. yeah. You still think that's a scam? I think so. <laughs> okay. Well, that's no problem. But yeah, but uh, do me a favor. Uh, uh, if you, what, what city you live in? Wait, you need to come. You say in Richmond, California? No, Richmond Park. What city is that? You never heard of Richmond Park? Ah, uh, no, sir. What what state is that? It's in Illinois, by Chicago. Oh, oh yeah, oh, nah, yeah. we in North Carolina. Yeah. Nah, we don't know. Yeah, but 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 thank you, Milkman. We we appreciate it. But uh, call. You just call around and see. Uh, tell me when to get your dry vent clean, but dry vent clean, uh, vent duct clean, and see what see what price they charge you. Then just just hit us back and let us know. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah see, man. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, like with, with stuff like that, like you're not necessarily paying for the time. You paying for the expertise, right? Because if your house burned down, is it worth a hundred dollars? Like, yeah. So it's not necessarily like. Oh, you got scammed because somebody did it in 15 minutes, somebody did it in 30 minutes. So, um, but I do, you know what I mean? Again, no disrespect to nobody. Um, I believe everybody entitled to their opinion. Um, but I just want to, you know, just speak on that. Like, you know, if your house burnt down because you never did it, what was it worth a hundred dollars, hundred and ten dollars, two hundred dollars, even if it was like you know, 30 minutes of work? So, um, things of that nature, though. So, um, and I just wanted to speak on that for those people who uh because other people might have been thinking it, but uh, but just wouldn't say it though. So so respect to him. Yeah, that, yeah, that, much respect for that, him. That, just that, that, on. That, that's good. And the other thing too is uh uh I, I just had this conversation with uh with uh, another guy uh about prices. Um he was asking um a technician came to his house and the technician uh fixed something and he, he said the guy was done real quick. Well, uh as as you as you improve your skills and you could get better at your profession. Your time is going to take uh, less time for you to diagnose something. So you can't charge somebody by the time it takes you to be there because what happens, it, it actually starts to hurt the person who's more skilled and who, who's better at his craft than somebody who's not as skilled, uh, who's going to take him longer to diagnose and, diag and repair. So the better you get at it, the less of time it's going to take you to fix it. So your time is going to go down. So uh, you, don't, you never want to charge by the hour, you going to charge by the expertise. Cool, cool, you guys. Um, I'm gonna let you pick some more, Mike. Okay. Um, uh, okay, who's uh, how you stop? Oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. All right. Uh, I respect you, brothers, for what you got, what you guys are doing to make people on here their game. Real talk. Thanks. Yes, they can hear. Yes, cool. Just look on YouTube, it's hella video showing how to do. Yeah, I, I tell people that all the time, everything we're doing. It's not. It's not anything magic. All of, everything. Everything I'm going to show you is going to be actually on on YouTube. But uh, some people like to have the hands on, and somebody actually there working with them. I understand that. So uh, if they come here, they get the hands on, and uh, it, it, it'd be better for them. So I know some people has to have the hands on. They just can't go to YouTube. That's going to be one of the things we're going to do with the continuing education and with the class. With the class is actually going to be done like they would do it in the field. Where they go on YouTube and actually we pull the videos, we look at the videos, I explain the videos, then we go to the lab and execute. The same way you would do it in the field. Cool, cool. Jay Williams, put your number in the chat. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. Yeah, we'll call one more person. Yeah. Well, All right. <laughs> Just depending on how fast your drill is. Yeah, no, nah, uh, like I said, it was, I, I don't think he understood that we're assimilating what you would do. It, that that driving ain't three feet long. Um, as uh, I, I, I ain't gonna say that, <laughs> but still, it still surprises me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jay Williams, he's the one who wants to call in. Yeah, okay. yeah. Put your number in the chat. We'll call one more person in the in the chat. All right. Um, but anything else you want to touch on? Uh, coming to come see you, brothers. Classes, even though I have experience. Cool, cool. It's not about the speed, but the proper diagnosis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I and I think um, it's dope that a lot of people understand that. But I appreciate him speaking out. Um, because there are a lot of people that don't understand that, and um, and it's all good. And like he said, I hope at some point, you know, 
Um, we get to meet him. He come out. Uh, you know what I mean? Start another business. He might already have a business, but uh, start another business doing something else. Okay. Uh, who's uh, sub suburban homestead outfitters? I can make a thousand dollars cash in hand in six hours. Uh, doing what? Uh, the dry vent cleaning. Uh, it depends. Uh, like I said, we do about seven to eight. Um, not say thirty minutes. You actually got uh, you got to factor in drive time to get to the other people's houses and set up and all that. So uh, it, it's not like uh, not like a dentist office with people walking in and out. You got to actually have to uh, uh, have some drive time. So with us, we do. I, I normally charge seven to eight uh, uh, stops per day if we're going to do drive that. Mike Locklear, what's up, Mike? Mike has a drive in um, cleaning business. Oh, he does? Yeah. yeah, lip bus. Okay, there you go. Yeah, man. Mike Lock Clear. Yeah, come in, Mark, uh, Mike, and let him know what it what it's like. Mike, I'm gonna call you next, Mike, after this, man. You know him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mike, cool guy. All right. Hey, what's up, Jay? Hey, what's going on, man? I appreciate you guys so much, man. No problem. No problem. Where are you calling in from, Jay? Area. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm actually a plumber, but I'm not licensed, so I'm always looking to expand my, my income. So the knowledge that you bring in is just incredible. Yeah. That, Appreciate like, it. Thank Appreciate you. It. And like I said, these are things that I actually do. It's not something that, I, uh, uh, that I, I'm, I'm just going and trying to randomly do it and just give you information. This stuff that I actually do every day. So Exactly. And I, I just want to touch on that point, too, because, it's, you know, it's more of a mindset thing than anything else. Because, you know, going into these homes and I go up to million plus dollar homes, these people aren't willing to pay the money. They just need the people to do the service. Right. So that's all we got already out there for you. The go just get the mindset, you know, to get it outside of your head that maybe somebody won't even pay that money. There's millions of people that's more than ready to come out of pocket for services. Right, right. A lot of times we judge other people by our own personal circumstance. Um, I just, I just uh, went to uh, went to a customer house yesterday. Uh, well, it's to a restaurant. They need a hot water heater, uh, and the hot water heater uh, is seventy five hundred dollars. And uh, you, you were like, man, seventy five hundred dollars. And her, her question wasn't uh, uh, why seventy five hundred dollars. Her question was. Uh, do I need to shut down my restaurant for you to do it, <laughs> or do can you come after hours? <laughs> it, it, it was never a question about seventy five hundred dollars. That that seventy five hundred dollars, she thought it was a deal. She just didn't want to have to shut a restaurant down to have it done. Exactly, exactly. That she got four hundred dollars that she can to bring, man. Be saving up my money to come out to cool man. Cool. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, do one of the do one of the, do one of the business we we said, and uh, you you have your money quick. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Mr. Steve. You yeah, I actually started uh, watching the videos when you put the uh, the plumbing versus the doctor video. Oh, okay. That really changed, that really changed my outlook and the whole industry. Okay, thanks. I really appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. Thank thanks. You. Cool, cool. Thank you. All right, uh, yeah. Uh, last person I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call. Um, I'm gonna call Mike. That was in the okay. chat, man. Yeah, because he actually has a um. Yeah, he has a driver. Yeah. yeah, he yeah. made a good point there. Uh, uh, partner, yo, what's up, Mike? What's up, man? Can you keep up? Yeah, <laughs> man, man, can you speak a little bit on um, just the dryer vent cleaning business, man? I know you have yours. Is is ninety nine dollars a scam, or like, just, can you just educate us a little bit, man? We got ninety five people in the chat right now that can hear you. Y'all hit that like button. Uh, ninety five dollars. Nine ninety nine dollars. Yeah. For, Go ahead. $99. It, it, really, it really depends on your location. Um, okay. If you if you got a lot of driving and cleaning companies in your location, you got to switch yourself apart from the rest. So $99, most people don't want to pay that much for something that's fancy. And like, I don't know where it's at. I've never even heard of it in my house. They just think it's the little transition holes from the dryer to the wall. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, I just bought a new dryer. That don't need to be cleaned. Then you got to explain to them what it is. And most people are like, man, I, I pay you maybe fifteen dollars. So it, it just depends on the location, the neighborhood. You go to a, a higher neighborhood and make that ninety nine dollars. 
that you're too low in that you're not gonna make that kind of money. Cool, cool. Yeah. yeah what, uh, what what city are you in? I'm in uh, Lumberton, North Carolina, Robinson County. Oh, okay. I yeah. Robinson County, Cumberland County, all the surrounding county. Cool. Okay. How how much would you have to charge in your area for a, a dryer vent cleaning in? Like on average, you don't got to be exact. I give you a rundown of it. Typically, on average, um, if it's in my if it's in my town and I have to drive maybe ten minutes or so, I'll charge sixty. Cool. Now, you know, if it's if it's an elderly person or a service person or you know, um, fireman, police, you know, I try to put them a good count. Mm -hmm. Um. How long does it take you to do it once you get there? Uh, it really depends, John. It really depends on if it's on the roof, if it's a, you know, if it's an eye level, or if it's on ground level. Um, if it's a hard, a hard metal conduit, or if it's rigid foil, mm -hmm. that all plays a factor because certain material you got to use different equipment. You can't use the same equipment with the hard metal conduit that you can with foil because you can the foil mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you go to a house, if you go to a person's house and they got the right plastic, well, that's not even encoded anymore, so you got to change it out. Mm -hmm. Let's just, uh, let's just say hypothetically, if it's just, you know, legit, you don't have to change but maybe, maybe 20, 30 minutes. All right, cool, mm -hmm. cool. So, yeah, so... You know, hypothetically, 20, 30 minutes, $60. It's still not bad. Yeah. It's still not a bad business. I appreciate your time, Mike, man. I'm going to let you go. All right, man. Hey, I'm All right. Call, man. All right. No problem, man. All right. Thanks bye -bye. for calling in. Cool, cool. Um, Yeah, man. I appreciate everybody that called in. Um, I really appreciate the dude, man, for, for voicing his opinion, man, because I like Stuff like that yeah, because yeah. you never know what people are thinking. So um much respect to him, man, because that allowed us to speak on it too about um like what are you charging people for? Because I know a lot of people out here might feel like, oh, I can't make that much money because it's only 15 minutes, 30 minutes. And now maybe somebody that would never uh put it in the chat for whatever reason, now they understand that I'm not charging you for my time, I'm charging you for my expertise. Mm -hmm. And you know, if this is not addressed, then it could lead to this. So, right. you know, it is not a bad deal at all. Yeah, and that's the other thing, too. Once again, like I say, like he said, uh, depending on the neighborhood and where you're going, that's why I said uh, I market mines to people, houses here in the Clayton, North Carolina, 250000 and up. That's going to be on golf courses, uh, gated communities. I want to go to the higher, uh, what I call uh, upper middle class, because they're going to they're gonna know exactly what you're doing, and they're going to also, they're going to have the funds to pay the $99. Cool. So, yeah, cool. you want to do that. And, or uh, uh, same thing, find out where a fire just happened. <laughs> Go to the fire department, find get the list, find out where uh, where a fire just happened. Then they're on an the emotional decision then because they just saw a fire. They'll pay the $99. Okay, so you say once you get that list, you just go through that neighborhood yeah, just, and, and just pass out flyers yeah, to all the neighbors. Yeah, just uh, just like if somebody uh, wants to do a break-in at, uh, at, uh, at somebody's house, Everybody in that whole street, that whole block, I like get a letter from, uh, used to be CPI or ADT or whoever, saying, hey, let me come put a security system. Just like if you were to get a speeding ticket, uh, the next day, all these lawyers send you uh, 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 letters about getting rid of your ticket. You want to do the same thing with your drive vent cleaning system. You want to monitor that list. Uh, the different different Thank states you. and cities. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, go different ahead. states and cities have uh, different... Uh, different lists. I know in Raleigh, uh, it's pretty straightforward. You can go to, uh, I think it's RFPD uh, uh, reports.net and they put their, they constantly get theirs updated. In Johnston County, um, I used to have to actually go to the fire department and they'll print it off for me. But uh, yeah, that's what you want to do. Cool, cool. Can we uh, can we give people the dates one more time and the syllabus one more time? Okay. Uh, if you don't mind, because I'm seeing it a lot in the chat. Okay. Um, I appreciate everybody for being here. For the benefit of those people that are just uh, tuning in, we're going to go through the dates and the syllabus, and then we'll go ahead and let you go. I appreciate everybody here. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Um, shout out to everybody that's here. Mike Locklear, which is the last guy that I had on the phone, says, also people are lazy <laughs> and rather pay yeah. than do it themselves. So if you are in the, uh, the lower North Carolina yeah. area, Robinson County and surrounding yeah. area, Lint Busters is the name of his business. Great guy. Uh, I do know him personally. Um, if you're closer to this area, of course, contact Sneed Appliance. Mm -hmm. Mike Sneed, Save Invest Repeat on uh, YouTube. Okay.
All right. Um, so what's the date first? The date is going to be um, April the 13th and 14th. Um, we're going to start at 7 a.m. It's going to be a two-day class. On um, the first day, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to do basic electricity. We're going to learn how to operate a voltmeter, uh, learn to test motors, switches, thermostats, and elements, learn how to read appliance wiring diagrams. Uh, then we're going to do uh, washers and dryers. We're going to learn the actual theory behind them. And then we're going to have a hands-on class where we'll come in here for two hours and we're going to tear down um, uh, a front load washer and dryer and a top load washer and dryer and reassemble them and we'll test all the components. Um, we'll break for lunch. Then we'll come back from lunch. We'll do ranges, microwaves, and dishwashers. We're going to do the theory first, uh, which will take us an hour. And then we'll have a three-hour lab where we'll come in and we'll take them all apart and put them all back together. Um, then um, after that, from five to seven, the last part of that day, we're going to do cell phones, which is really fast and easy. We're going to do iPhone and Android. We're going to learn how to assemble and disassemble them. And we're going to learn how to do a factory re uh, reset. All right, uh, Sunday, uh, we're going to start off again at 7 a.m. Uh, we're going to do basic refrigeration. Uh, we're going to learn the theory behind refrigeration. Uh, from 8 to 10, we're going to have a uh, hands-on where we're going to come into the lab and we're going to take out a refrigerator, test all the components, and put it back together. And then from 10 to 12, we're going to have our business class where we're going to actually learn how to go out and market. Like I was just telling you how to go out and market your, your uh, uh, dry vent cleaning system. I'm going to tell you how to market your appliance uh, business. I'm going to tell you how to go out and find contracts. I'm going to tell you what companies you need to get contracts with. Um, and I'm also going to tell you how to go out and continue your education. Once you leave here, uh, you won't be uh, dependent upon uh, calling me and stuff, trying to get everything done. You'll be able to go out there and actually uh, educate yourself and keep moving on. Cool. And I'm going to put the links to everything below. If you can't make it to the Carolinas, it's all good. There will be a course after the event that anybody, regardless of if you anywhere in the United States or if you're out of the country and you just want to know how to start an appliance repair business or a cell phone uh, repair business in your area, you can check out the course and get that after the fact. So again, callsneed.com is the website. Go register Go register there right now, and, or you can just take the description below and get the links. Appreciate everybody for your time. Peace. All right.